I got a package. What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. So to start off with this big announcement, I am officially sponsored by Fish on Africa. I am a brand ambassador for Fish on Africa. I'm so excited. Now you guys might be thinking, who is Fish on Africa? Fish on Africa are the suppliers of striking Molex, Salmo and Fox in South Africa. So I am super, 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 super buzzed about this. I want to say thank you to all of my subscribers and everyone who just watches the video because you are helping make this channel grow and that's because of the people watching these videos that I even got offered the sponsorship. So I'm extremely grateful. Thank you so much. I'd also just like to say thank you to Fish on Africa. Thank you to Rudolf Fenter for this opportunity. I'm so excited to be working with you guys. It's gonna be awesome. Okay, so moving on to this package from Fish on Africa. Rudolf and Fish on Africa have sent me a few lures in here for me to test out. I haven't opened this, I've got this today. I came home and I'm gonna open it with you guys on this video. So it's the opening. Okay, I thought that was gonna be a lot harder to open this time. Okay. okay, this is the first thing. This thing I actually ordered myself. This is the Striking KVD Caffeine Shad in Watermelon Red. I've never fished this bait, but I'm super excited to it. It looks so good. Oh, and it comes with it's a really nice packaging. If you guys, I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's got like a, it's not a clamshell. It's just like these harder plastic things inside to keep the bait like in one line so they don't... That's actually really cool. I just realized for our, the way we pack our plastics in our boat, it's like in a soft bag and they're all slight to get like this. Sometimes when you push your plastics in, it makes that ball. But now with this hard plastic, make, it makes sure that the baits always sit straight up on top of each other so you don't get the plastic swelling and taking up unnecessary space. It's actually so clever, yo. Oh, it smells a bit like coffee. Nah, it might be my, might be my head, but it does have a scent. Oh my word, coffee and salt. What? Coffee scent and salt. That's crazy, caffeine shad. Like the name just stuck in my head now. It's really, really cool. Look at that bubble tail. It's basically like a fluke style bait, but it's got a bubble tail. Very, very soft on the end of here. So that action is going to be phenomenal. I'm so keen to use this. Okay, next up is another item that I ordered myself. I'm going to go through all of those and then I'm going to show you guys what they sent me separately, like at the end. This one is a paddle tail. This is the striking KVD Rage Swimmer. It's a 3.75 inch. I'm really enjoying throwing my paddle tails of recent. If you guys watched my Rista Winter video, at the end of the day, I was catching them on that um, jig head. This is a really nice paddle tail. It's got a huge paddle. Look at the size of that paddle. The paddle's wider than the body itself. So yeah, this is also a bait that I'm really looking forward to. It's a nice natural color, almost like a baby bass, but not as shiny. Um, that's why I selected this color, but you know, I'm super keen to throw this as well. Okay, next up, it's another packet of plastics, and this one's a frog. It's the Striking Super Toad in Green Pumpkin. Now, I chose this frog because of the shape of the body and legs. I wanted a frog that I can fish quite quickly on the, on the surface and gives a lot of action. So I went for this frog. There it is there. You'll see it's super streamlined, really, really flat. So it'll skip on the water really nicely. There's nothing that's gonna be creating drag or whatever under there. But then also look at these feet. Oh my word, those feet are gonna kick like crazy. So it's gonna be a, a bait that I can fish quite quickly on the surface and then pause and it'll slowly sink. Uh, I read that these have quite a slow sink rate. So you can see this frog's not gonna create, it's gonna be able to skip over the surface fast and these legs are gonna kick like crazy. That's gonna be sick. That's gonna be really sick. Okay, that's it for the soft baits. Moving on to the hard baits category. Next up are these Molex TW95Bs. So TW95 basically stands for Top Water 95 Bait Fish. So these are basically little spooks, top water bait. Bone color of the, it worked so well for me at Arabi. And then Chrome, because I read that Chrome Chrome is just a really good all-rounder top water spook color. So yeah, there it is out of the box. It's got these like pink or maroon little gills. Um, and then on the top, it's got that nice little maroon back. 
It's actually a really cool looking bait. And also another thing, listen how loud this is. That is, that is so loud. That's gonna be, oh, thanks. Dude, this is making me wanna fish so bad. These hooks are quality hooks. They're not, those aren't thin wire hooks. Those are proper, proper hooks. It's also got really realistic eyes. Doesn't come with a little split ring though on the nose, so I'm gonna put that myself. Um, you can just use a Rapala knot, but I like putting on a split ring on, on the nose, or even if you use those fast clips, it's like a little snap swivel basically, tied to a fast clip, and then the fast clip clips onto that, so then you can avoid O-rings and Rapala knots. So there are alternatives. My preference is a little split ring. If you don't know what a little split ring is, it's that little thing connecting the hook to the bait over there, that little ring. Sick! So that is the TW95B. Okay, next up is something that I love throwing in. You guys would have seen me throw this a lot. It's a chatterbait. Whoop. This one is the Strike King Thunder Cricket. It's a really, really highly rated chatterbait. I've never owned one, but I'm super excited to throw this. I can't wait. This color is called Bluegill. Um, it's got a bit of orange, a bit of purple. It's got a green pumpkin blade. There we go, guys. It's actually a really nice color skirt. There's the blade color, and then look at the color on this jigged. Orange, also got those realistic eyes. This with this. I might cut this a little bit short, just so that it's not too much sticking out behind the skirt. But that, oh my day. Oh my gosh, guys, something else that I just noticed is, while well, I was just, I was just trying to spread out that skirt nicely, so it's all evenly spread out around the bed, and Freak, I just pricked myself with this hook. It is so sharp. It is so, so, so sharp. You best know I am throwing this the next time I'm on the water. Okay, next time I'm on the boat might be at Mokolo for a July comp. So it's not really screaming chatterbait. But August, come August, end of July, I am throwing this. Best know it. Okay, and last up of the baits that I ordered myself, it is a Molex Tanax. Flipping jig. This jig is specifically designed for flipping into heavy, heavy cover. Okay, there it is out of the packaging. It's got a wide gap hook. The tip of the hook is actually in line with the eye of the jig head. This point being in line with the eye is actually designed to improve your hookup ratio when flipping in heavy, heavy, heavy cover. So they've really thought of this flipping jig really, really well. This is a half ounce Tanax jig and it is in a wild crawl color and also a freaking sharp hook. A nice little weed guard over here, not too stiff, not too soft. So, yeah, this is actually really, really cool. I wish I had this at Rista Winter. I would have been flipping reeds with this at Rista Winter. Now moving on to the stuff that Rudolph and Fish on Africa sent me themselves. They chose out these lures for me to go and test them out. Starting off with a lipless. It's the Strike King Red Eye Shad in the gold black back color. Fun fact, this lure was actually made in Costa Rica. I just saw that in the back of the packaging now. That's really sick. Look at the paint job on that lure. Oh my gosh, it is so slick. Like I'm feeling this, everything about this is smooth. Like there's no bumps or anything. Look at that little pink mouth and then the red eyes. That's why it's called the Red Eye Shad. Also solid hooks. Got the little line tar over there with the split ring. That's what I was looking for on these spooks. Quite heavy, hey? It's a quarter ounce, quarter ounce. I was, I was thinking, it's quite heavy, quite a small little lipless, but I, I'm a big fan of lipless. I haven't thrown them in a while, but I gotta taste this out. I gotta taste that out. It's got a quite a loud rattling in as well. Yeah, this is gonna be so awesome. Look at that gold black back. Next up is another soft plastic bait. This is the Striking. Baby Z2 in pearl. This is also kind of like a fluke style bait. There's a little secret in this. This is made with the Elastec technology from Z-Man. I think this is more of a finesse style fluke bait. I'm assuming it's buoyant because it says they're made with Elastec technology. Same plastic that the Z-Man plastics are made of. It's packed with salt when I'm doing that. The salt's just coming out. This could actually be really good fishing beds at Law School. Like a drop shot. Walk it through the nose and it'll just wiggle like this with the tail pointing up in front of that fish's nose on the bed. I think that's exactly what I'm gonna go do. When I hit the spawn at Law School this season, watch this, watch this space. This is the last bait that they've given me, but probably 
the one that I'm most excited for. This is the Molex Glidebait 130 in bluegill color. I have never owned a Glidebait. I've never caught a fish on a Glidebait, but just look at that. That is, oh, I'm so keen to throw this. The thing is, whatever you catch on this is gonna be big. It's gonna be a big one. So it says it's a slow sinking. It's 13 centimeters long, five inches. The weight is 1.1. 13th of an ounce for all asymmetric system people that is 30 grams <laughs> and it says on the back here designed and engineered by Molex in Italy huh I didn't know Molex was an Italian brand guys look at this thing that is so sick oh my god that is so sick the front hook's bigger than the back hook it's also got that little orange lip rubber tail and fins. Oh, all these fins are rubber. That's actually really cool. Wow, they're really going for like the full 3D appearance. That's a bait. <laughs> That's crazy. I've caught bass this big. <laughs> I'm so excited to throw this. I need to do some research, find out what time of the year is the best time to throw these things. I uh, hear it can be quite tough to, to learn. Uh, glide bait fishing, but I'm so keen to do it. I'm so keen to throw this thing, test it out, learn and catch some monsters. Okay, and then the last thing that they sent me, which is actually freaking cool, is a striking sticker. And then these Molex stickers, how freaking sick are these stickers? That is so sick. Guys, I'm about to actually give you such a good idea. Molex, fish on Africa, striking. If you guys can make a sticker of a bass like this with measurements, like one to 30 centimeters that we can stick on the side of the boat. And then when we catch a, a fish, we just like hold it up against the sticker. <sighs> yeah, these stickers are freaking cool. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Rudolph and Fish on Africa. Thank you guys for watching. This is such an awesome opportunity. I'm so excited for this sponsorship and to work with Fish on Africa. This is gonna be sick. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. This is exciting times we're living in. I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.